our major food, most of the food we eat must be plant-based. Vegetables, ugu, uh, garden egg leaves, water leaves, scent leaves, curry leaves, all these green vegetables, they are very good for us. They are very rich in antioxidants, rich in vitamins, rich in heart-friendly uh, properties. Fruits, cucumber, oranges, or any of the citrus fruits. Banana is very rich. Berries, they are very rich in all the things that we need to maintain very clean hearts and clean vessels. Whole grains, you have brown rice, you have tubers, potato, they are all rich. Then there are some herbs that are very good for our health, especially our heart health. You have ginger, you have garlic, you have cinnamon, turmeric. They are all very, very good for our health. And then there are foods, fats that we need to eat. We must eat healthy fats. Any fats that solidifies at room temperature is unhealthy. If you put your fat in the room and it solidifies, it's unhealthy. Like if you boil your meat to this fat that's on top of the meat uh, stock, leave it, let it solidify, and you quickly just remove it quietly. Use the stock. If you cannot allow it to cool and you remove the oil, don't eat it. Don't take it. Just throw away the uh, the stock. The nuts are very good for you. Nuts are very good. Seeds, walnut, uh, peanuts, cashew nuts, and all. They are very good. And there are some seeds that are essential. Look for them. They are in the market. You have chia seed. You have flax seed. You have um, black pepper seed. All form of seeds. Coriander, they are there. They are all very good and heart friendly. They take care of our cardiovascular uh, system. Then what are the things that you should not eat? You run away from processed foods. Processed foods are full of several things that you don't even know about. Sugar, salt and all. Processed foods are not just the ones you buy outside. Even the ones you process in your house. Most times we over process them, we over cook them. You just handle them. The way you handle them, you lose uh, nutrients. Then make sure that you reduce your salt, sugar, and soda. Ah, stop taking soda. The effect is just in your mouth and throat. Once it gets there, that's all. It's doing now a lot of damage. Instead, is replace your soda with water. Drink plenty of water. Hello everyone, how is the fasting going? Enjoying it? Whether you are or not, fasting is a wonderful time to connect with God, to subject our flesh to obeying the Holy Spirit. So enjoy the ride. We're here today to talk about oral health during fasting. How do we take care of our mouth during fasting? You may have noticed that because you're not eating a lot, you're not drinking probably, um, when you open your mouth to talk to someone, the first thing you feel is an odor come out of your mouth. This is physiological. I mean normal and it is transient, meaning it will go away so quickly. Now, this is due to the fact that there is reduced saliva flow in the mouth, which is a natural cleanser that God has put in our mouths. And so, if this happens to you and there is no other underlying reason to be worried, there is no cause for alarm. What can you do to keep your mouth clean and healthy while fasting? Number one, as always, brush your teeth two times a day, in the morning and last thing before going to bed at night. Also, you want to floss. You should floss regularly every single day, at least at least once a day. Um, so floss your teeth and you, you want to do that to remove any food particles that are left in the mouth. Because like I said earlier on, less saliva is flowing to cleanse away whatever is in your mouth. Also, you want to stay hydrated. Now, you may not be taking a lot of water during the day, but, I, but once you're about to break your fast, start by drinking a healthy cup of water. And for the rest of the day, please stay hydrated as much as possible. You want to replenish your body with um, you know, the water needed to keep your body running naturally. Now, 
what else do we do our mouths are gateways to praising the lord so keep the mouth praising keep the mouth praying keep the mouth talking and speaking about god all through the day and you know what i know that we will all be victorious in this journey in jesus name god bless you and bye -bye. Water is an essential commodity created by God for our satisfaction. It prevents a condition known as dehydration, which is a condition that occurs when the body does not have enough water for normal functioning of the body. Our body needs water for normal functioning. And how does our body get this water? Through the food we eat, food that contains high water content, such as soup, tomatoes, fruits like oranges, vegetables like water, leaves, spinach, and so on. Also from drinking water, milk, and juices, beverages, but not the one that contains alcohol or caffeine because they are not good for the body. They contain empty calories that the body does not need. Water is best instead of beverages. What are the benefits of drinking water? Water helps to lubricate and cushion our body joints, brain, spinal cord, Water helps to relieve or prevent constipation. Water helps to treat or prevent headache. Water helps in weight loss. Water helps to get rid of waste in the body via urination, sweating, and bowel movements. Water helps to prevent kidney damage, and so on and so forth. How much of water do you need? It varies from person to person, and it depends on the physical activity or other conditions that a person engaged in. Generally, it is recommended for men that the body needs about 15 cups of water in a day, some of which are gotten through food. So a man needs about 11 cups of water in a day. And a woman, a woman's body needs about 11 cups of water for normal functioning. Some are gotten through food and then a woman can drink nine cups of water in a day and there are some other conditions that make you to drink more than these requirements for example when in hot weather in high altitude you sweat a lot so you need more water a pregnant woman a breastfeeding woman you are giving out a lot of fluid so you need more water also when you are doing exercises you need more water because a lot of fluid are lost through that and also when you have ill health like fever vomiting diarrhea you need to drink more fluid and what are the tips of drinking enough water you make sure you have cup of water with you whenever you are eating you go about with your bottle of water to your place of work to your school to the gym everywhere you go make sure you go with a bottle of water and also you order for water instead of beverages on your outings and you focus so we're going to uh, be talking about keeping a healthy weight for cardiovascular health and physical exercise. So excess, excess weight can lead to fatty material building up in our arteries. If the arteries that carry blood to, your, uh, to the other parts of your body are damaged, so you get, when they are damaged, you, you, you have uh, cardiovascular problems. So um, to know that your weight is uh, the right weight that you're supposed to have as a person, we are supposed to measure our numbers, the BMI, uh, body uh, mass uh, index. Yeah. So, so you weigh yourself on a weighing scale yeah. and then you have to know your height also. Uh, but I have a, a link on the on internet where you can actually go, where you can enter all these figures that you have gotten in order to calculate your BMI. We're going to continue. So this is a scale. So you can get on a scale uh, like this one to know how much you weigh, actually. It's very important to know uh, what you're weighing. So that, and then 
uh, to get those figures, the formula that you use. So um, we have the uh, the metric units and also the imperial units if you are in the US. But if you are in Europe like us, we use the kilograms and the meter square. You can click on this link to get on the on the website, and then you can fill in all those figures, and you can know exactly what your BMI is. So if you're underweight, you have less than 18.5. Your normal weight is uh, between 18.5 six and 24.9 and if you're overweight is between 25 to 29.9 and uh grade one obesity oh, is between 30 uh, to 34.9 and grade two is 35 to 39.9 and grade three obesity goes to 40 or above and um the one good thing about the uh, uh this cardiovascular diseases is that they are reversible there is a possibility to reverse or to stop the progression of um, the disease so or but it depends on you as an individual if you want to follow uh, what is going to help you to stop the progression of the disease. So one of it is uh, eating healthy and also maintaining a good uh, uh, physical lifestyle. So the, the goal that we want to a normal BMI between 18.6 and 24.9, but notwithstanding, uh, some people, they have uh, muscles that can actually make their weight heavier. It doesn't mean that they are overweight, but they can uh, feel that they are over.
the days of signs and wonders open hands open hands these are the days of your power
Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, wow. I want you to, to begin to type hallelujah in the chat section. Type hallelujah to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, to the Lord who has covenanted to restore us. Ah, he said, I will restore unto you the years you've lost. What a mighty God we serve. And it's day five. I want you to begin to test your friends and uh, anyone around and to, to allow them that we are on because we can see only 50 people are here. Please begin to test in your various platforms to tell them we are on. They shouldn't miss this for anything. Can you keep on typing hallelujah to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, the Lord that has called us together to bless us and to restore unto us. He's going to restore power. He's going to restore fi finances. He's going to restore a lot of things inside visions. Hallelujah. We are moving on quickly. We are going to be calling our sister, Evangelist, um, Evangelist Tumise Falana from Nasidra. Ma, if you are there, please, you can take over. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Can, every, can you hear me, please? Thank you. Glory thank to you. Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I want to thank God, the most high God, for this awesome opportunity that he has given unto me to be able to um, lead us in the opening prayers this evening. And I want to appreciate God for the lives of our father and our mother in the Lord, Daddy Mike and Mommy Gloria Bamiloye. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for all that you're doing. I also want to thank God for the leadership cabinet of NASA Drum especially um, the chairman of the Nasudran BOT, our daddy, Daddy Wale Adeyi, and my president, Evangelist Wumi Akila De. I salute all our daddies and mommies in the house tonight. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Now, wherever you are, can you lift your voice with me? Can you open your mouth? We are here to meet with the Lord Jehovah, our Father, the King of glory, the gatherer of men. Wherever you are, can you raise your voices and begin to bless the name of the Lord tonight, Father, we worship you. Ancient of days, the great I am, we magnify your name, we exalt you. Thank you for this fifth day of our prayers, Lord, we are grateful. Oh, come on, child of God, wherever you are, can you raise your voices and begin to bless the name of the Lord tonight? Oh, Father, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful for this invitation that you have given unto us to appear before you. We thank you for all that you have been doing since Sunday, we have been greatly blessed. We thank you for all that you're going to do tonight. Oh, come on, go ahead and magnify the name of the Lord wherever you are. Lord, I give you praise. I thank you for the blessings that I have received so far. I thank you for what you're going to do tonight. Oh, God, I bless your name. I glorify your name. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor and all the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Man, I want to read quickly from the book of Psalm 123, verses 1 to 2. The Bible says, Oh God, enthroned in heaven, I lift my eyes towards you in worship. The way I love you is like the way a servant wants to please his master. The way a maid waits for the others of our mistress. Lord, we look to you, our God, with passionate longing to please you and discover more of your mercy and grace. Wherever you are tonight, can you look to Jesus? and say, Lord, I have come to meet with you tonight. Can you open your mouth? Make sure you are praying wherever you are and say, Father, I have come because I love you. Go ahead and declare your love for him. Tell him why you are here. Come on, go ahead and personalize your praise. Lord, I am here because you have asked me to come. Oh, Rebo Soto Libra Akaya. I am here to discover more of your mercy, Jesus. I am here to discover more of your grace tonight, Jesus. Malikedo Soto Ribaliga oh rabana can you say father let me encounter you in an unusual way tonight i don't know what you have come to do i hope you came with an expectation i hope you did not just log in casually tonight can you go ahead and tell him your expectation tonight for we know that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short go ahead and tell him why you are here can you say father i humble myself before you tonight i humble myself to receive all that you up for me tonight.
tonight in the name of Jesus. I open myself before the throne of mercy tonight to obtain grace and mercy in the name of the Lord Jesus. I open my heart to receive all that you have for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Would you go ahead and position yourself before your father tonight and say, Lord, I come boldly by the blood of Jesus to access every blessing that you have in store for me. Will you take advantage of the blood tonight and say, Lord, because of the blood, I am made worthy to eat from this table of fat things tonight. Not in my own righteousness, but I put on the righteousness of Christ Jesus tonight and I declare that by the blood of Jesus, my sins are forgiven and I am worthy to receive all that you have in store for me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus upon your heart. Go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus upon your environment. Oh, Galebra, no Sotolia. We plead the blood of Jesus upon every media equipment tonight. We declare in the name of Jesus that nothing will hinder the move of God in this place tonight. Rakobo Shandalia on this Zoom call tonight. We declare, Lord, have your right of way. Rekuria Masheke Lebrana. I hope you are praying. Lelubra Nanamu Satalia. We come against every hindrance to the free flow of God's power tonight. Leliga Nimbronosha. We declare no technical glitches in the name of Jesus, no connection issues in the name of Jesus. Maracoria Basanda or Rebo Sondolia. We speak to every media devices. We speak to every media equipment. You must cooperate tonight. Tonight is a night of destiny. Lehiga Lobra Sotolia Baba. Oh, Gabo Shandaya, would you say, Father, I cooperate with you to receive all that you have for me tonight. Can you go ahead and say, Lord, I cooperate with you. I subject my knowledge. I sub 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 subject my wisdom. Whatever it is that I know, I put down before you tonight to receive from you. I am hungry and thirsty for the blessing. Elebra Sotoria, I cooperate with you tonight, Jehovah. Can you say, Father, let the channels of my spirit open up tonight. Oh, repaniga le brano no mozike li brananana robosha. Let the channels of my spirit open up tonight. Let my ears, the ears of my spirit, be open tonight. Iga no sotoria, so that I may be able to discern the purpose of God for my life this year. Ila odra bosha. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. Maroko sotori baba. Oh, remanina. My destiny, my ministry, my family must receive a special touch tonight. In the name of Jesus, as from tonight i am prepared from where i am to where i need to be in the name of jesus we are going to pray for the spirit of faith tonight the bible says in hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 it says for we have heard the good news of deliverance just as they did yet they didn't join their faith with the word instead they doubted the word can you say father strengthen my faith tonight the bible says without faith it is impossible to please god for he who must come to god must believe that he is and he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him can you go ahead and say lord Strengthen my faith, strengthen my faith tonight so that I will believe your prophet. Strengthen my faith tonight so that I will believe your servant in the name of Jesus. Roba Seke, I plead the blood of Jesus against every spirit of doubt and unbelief tonight. Rakoria Basheke Lebranana Mazukalia Redemo Sataya. I receive grace to believe the servant of God tonight. I receive grace to believe the spoken word tonight. Ilamos Rakobosha. Can you go ahead and come against every spirit of this? Distraction tonight. There are no distractions on this call tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rago Bashikelia in Amosotoria. Can you pray for the vessels that the Lord has prepared for us tonight? Can you say, Father, empower your word in the mouth of your servant tonight? Is somebody praying with me? Shandaya Balikelebo Soto. According to your word in Isaiah 44, verse 26 to 26. Jehovah, confirm the word of your servant tonight and perform the the counsel of your messenger tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus as they open up your mouth to declare the mystery of God as they open up your mouth to declare the blessing Lord fill up their mouth tonight my destiny must take a new turn after tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus can you ask for fresh grace fresh oil upon the vessels that the Lord is going to use tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus the Bible says in Numbers 23 verse 20 he says Balaam told Balak. He said, listen, listen. I have received a command to bless. Go 
God has blessed and I cannot reverse it. Can you say, Father, your blessing that is coming upon my life tonight will be irreversible. Oh, the blessing is in the spoken word, people of God. As the servant of God will declare the blessing upon you and I tonight, our destiny will cooperate. The blessing will stay. The blessing will remain. The blessing will manifest in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus, the blessing of the Lord coming upon my life tonight. It will stay. It will remain. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17, it says Jesus was in a place and the power of God was with him to heal. Can you declare power over this call tonight? That everyone that will log in tonight, they will feel the power and the presence of God wherever they are logging in from. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and give him praise. Go ahead and give him glory. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we adore you for all that you have in store for us. And daddy, we say that we are ready to receive everything. We give you praise and glory in Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, my God. God bless you. God bless you for that powerful prayer. Thank you for starting off so powerfully. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to use this opportunity to thank our daddy, Daddy Mike Bamiloye and our mommy Gloria Bamiloye for this awesome opportunity to serve God in this capacity. Thank you, Pastor Derek Jeremiah, our international coordinator, and the assistant, Mama Fatusin. Uh, thank you so much for all you do. I want to appreciate my regional coordinator, Dr. Olim De Facto Sin, for always being there for us and praying for us. God bless you, sir, and God bless you all. We are moving to um, the opening praise, and we are going to be inviting our evangelist, Dami Lola Bekes, for the opening praise. You're welcome, sir. God bless you.
hallelujah to the soon coming king hallelujah to our god hallelujah to our alpha and and our omega our god reigns forevermore hallelujah we are moving on thank you so much damola bekes for that powerful worship for that powerful opening praise god bless you sir we are moving on to bible reading and we'll be calling evangelist timothy adeni and he's from nasty drum usa you're welcome sir god bless you thank you so much man uh thank you so much uh daddy and our mommy uh daddy mike and mommy gloria and uh uh pastor Derek jeremiah the uh, coordinator and all the executives uh the bible verses for today um is um i mean the bible verse that we're going to do today is uh from joel chapter 2 verses 19 to 32 joel chapter 19 i sorry joel chapter 2 verses 19 to 32 it says Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and you shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make you a reproach among the heaven. But I will remove far off from you the northern army, and I will drive him into a land barren and desolate, with his face towards the east, east sea, and his inner part towards the uttermost sea, and his stink shall come up and it will suffer i'm sorry and it will, and his ill suffer shall come up because he had done great things fear not O lord be glad and rejoice for the lord will do great things be not afraid ye beast of the field for the pasture of the wilderness will do i mean do spring for the tree uh, beareth a fruit the fig tree and the vine do ye their strength. Be glad then, be, be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord for in the Lord your God, for he have given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down to you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vast shall uh, overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the year that the locusts are eating, the cacaom, the caterpillar, and the pamel, my great army which I send among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that hath done wonder, wondrous, wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am the Lord in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord God, the Lord your God, and none, none else. My people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the unmute. In those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders. In the heavens and in the earth, the blood, the fire, and the pillar of, of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered. As the Lord hath said, and in the remnant of the Lord shall call. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you for that Bible reading. Uh, this is an announcement to those that are online. There is French interpretation. So please, if you want to listen to the uh, to French interpretation, interpretation, please join the Zoom. Please go in and join the Zoom so you can uh, hear the French interpretation, and God will bless us all in the name of Jesus. Right now, we are moving to the prophetic declaration, and we'll be inviting Evangelist Rumi Akin Lade, and she's from, and he's from, or he or she's from Nasty Drum. You're welcome. God bless you. Sir. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we hear me? You're welcome, man. God bless you, man. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you, Minister Ijeoma. Thank you so much. Um, I want to say thank you.
for this great opportunity given to me by the leadership of this ministry. I want to start by appreciating our daddies, all our mommies. Uh, thank you so much. We, I did not take this for granted. And um, I pray tonight that as we have come to meet with the Lord, the host of heaven are here, the Lord is here, and he will meet with every one of us at the very point of our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that our coming here tonight shall not be a wasted one. It shall not be a fruitless one, but it shall be fruitful one that we shall go home abundantly with abundance of his mercy, of his power and grace in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to be in that attitude of of worship, even as we receive the declaration tonight. We have started where tonight. The Lord has started where with us and is still here with us to continue to do his wonders in our midst tonight. On that note, I want to appreciate the reader of the, the word of God. Thank you so much, sir, my Oga. God bless you real good. That is the word of God that have come to us tonight from the book of Joel, which you know was taken from our focus text for this year. The Lord has promised us well this year, and we cannot enjoy less than his promise because he's a covenant keeping God. Whatever he says, that is what he do. He's not a man that lies. Whatever he says, he brings them to fulfillment. And I want us to appreciate God for that promises that he has for us tonight. Father, we declare that you are great, you are awesome, you are wonderful. Unto you we commit the remaining part of this declaration, Holy Spirit. Oh, we pray that you will take your rightful place in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will take your rightful place in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. I'm a worship. I love to sing. I love to worship God. We are starting our declaration, our prophetic declaration to light with this song. If you know it, join me, sing it with every strength in you, because this is what the Lord has promised to do in our lives, in our midst tonight. So I want you to use every strength in you, every energy, every power in you to sing that song. Fill me on. Up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over, Daddy. Fill me up, oh, till we overflow. We wanna run over. We wanna run over. Fill us up, as you have come to the Most High God tonight. I declare in the name of Jesus, even as you are singing that song with all your strength, that the Lord is filling you up with his power. The Lord is filling you up with his glory. The Lord is filling you up with his strength. The Lord is filling you up with his authority in the mighty name of Jesus, with the faith, the grace that you need tonight to receive his promises. The Lord is filling you up in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is filling you up in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have declared. <laughs> the word of God says in that book of Joel, verse, uh, verse 25, it says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. Hallelujah. I will repay you for the years that the locusts have eaten. The locust can be in many forms. It can come in any way. The locust can be our enemies. The locust can be 
sin that we are holding on to, that we are dwelling on, the low cost can be fear, fear of unknown. The low cost can be our negligence. Low cost can come in form of our laziness. Low cost can be in any form. But tonight we have come to receive deliverance, to receive restoration from all those spirits, spirits of hindrance, spirits of limitation that have been limiting us from doing that which God has called us to do. We receive restoration in the name of Jesus. 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 We receive restoration over spirits of fear, over lack, over negligence, over carelessness. We receive restoration tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive the restoration tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, that Bible says the locusts, the great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat until you are full and you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be ashamed. I declare with this word of God that tonight as you have come to meet with the Lord, the Lord is giving you abundance of his blessing, abundance of his miracle. You will begin to reap and to sow, to reap and to eat in plenty in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the promise of God. And whatever the Lord says, he brings it to fulfillment. And I stand here as the child of God and I declare it in the name of Jesus that henceforth you will begin to eat in plenty. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will begin to eat in plenty. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will begin to eat in plenty. In the name of Jesus, spiritually, physically, you will begin to eat in plenty. In the precious name of Jesus, Amen. You know when the Lord is talking about food here, we are not. It's not only this Bible is not only talking about physical food. This year, we need that spiritual food more than ever before. We need that fresh, fresh oil. We need that fresh oil, fresh anointing. We need that new wine that will carry us all through this year, 2023. That is spiritual food. I pray and I declare it into your lives this year that you will begin to eat in plenty in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life will never experience any lack in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never become spiritual spiritual beggars in the name of Jesus. You will never become spiritual beggars in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Spiritual beggars are those that struggle to serve. When, when, when someone is suffering from being a spiritual beggar, it means those they are struggling to serve. They are struggling to read the word of God. They are struggling to manifest. They are struggling to fulfill purpose. I declare it into your lives this night that every lack, every begging spirit ah, in your lives, they are restored, they are removed, and you are restored tonight in the name of Jesus. You are restored tonight in the name of Jesus. You are restored tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not beg. You will not beg. Physically, you will not beg. Spiritually, you will not beg. You will begin to hit in plenty in the mighty name of Jesus until you are full, until you are full, until you are full. Ah, you will not only be blessed, but you will be source of blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, ah, so shall it be. In the mighty name of God the Father, in the mighty name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. The word of God says in the book of 1 Samuel, 
1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8 and 9 says, He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the hash, hash heap. He sits them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor. For the foundations of the health are the Lord's. On them he has set the word. Verse 9 says, He will guard the feet of his faithful servants. But the wicked will silence, will be silenced in the place of darkness. It is not by strength that no one prevails. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I decree into your lives tonight that this year, 2023, ah, the height that your strength, the height that your wisdom, the height that your ability, the height that your degree cannot reach, cannot take you to this year by the strength of the most high God, you will reach there this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. By the strength of the Most High God, you will reach there this year in the mighty name of Jesus. By the strength of the Most High God, you will reach there this year in the name of Jesus. Ah, I prophesy in the name of Jesus again into your lives that where your strength cannot take you this year, where the, you, the glory of your glory cannot get you to this year, I pray in the name of Jesus. The glory that your qualification cannot attain you. It doesn't matter what degree you have. It doesn't matter if the strength of God did not follow you or work for you. You, that person will just be laboring in vain. I will be laboring, struggling, struggling, struggling. I declare it in the name of Jesus that the glory that your qualifications cannot attain you this year, the height that your wisdom cannot take you this year, the testimony and miracles <laughs> that your efforts cannot obtain for you this year by the power in the name of Jesus. Begin to receive them in the name of Jesus. They are being delivered to you right now. Receive them in the name of Jesus. Receive them in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Begin to receive them. Receive them. Receive them. They receive them. Receive them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus name. Ah, this song came to me when I was preparing for this. Pardon me. Sing it to your own dialect. Sing it to your language. Sing it in a way you understand. God understand all languages. Oh, 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 Jabez, that restored Jabez, 
that hands of God that was laid on the Bidudum, <laughs> that hands of God that was laid on Esther, on Joseph, Anna, ah, that makes them from nowhere, from nobody, and they become somebody. I declare into your life tonight that receive the hands of God. Receive the hand of God. Let your lives receive the hands of God. Your ministry receive the hand of God. Your womb receive the hands of God. Your brain receive the hand of God. Your memory begin to receive the hand of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said it, brother. The hands of God. <laughs> ah, that moves someone from one realm to another realm, to that realm that is greater than you, to that realm that is beyond your imagination. <laughs> I declare you tonight that as you partake in this prophetic declaration, you will feel you with that hand of God will touch you. You will encounter that hand of God. It will move you from ordinary realm to a glorious realm, to a deep realm, to a deep realm in the spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Ah, in Jesus' name. This year, 2023, I receive you. I'm, I'm receiving on your behalf. You are receiving it right now. Greater grace to go in God's power. Greater grace to go in God's power. To move in direction of God. In God's direction. To grow in his power. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Receive that greater grace on it corrupted grace in the mighty name of Jesus. And I say greater grace to manifest in his power, to manifest in his greatness, to, to reach the unusual height in the spirit realm. I pray, I prophesy it into your life. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. In the the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. You know, we are serving God, but you cannot serve God when some part of you, your part, some part of you physically has been injured. Ah, you cannot serve God faithfully, I mean, efficiently, effectively, when any part of you has been damaged. Hallelujah. Hey, we are declaring the power of restoration over sickness. Ah, I pray in the name of Jesus into your lives. I declare it into your life that your health will improve. Everyone going through one medical condition or the other. I don't care what the doctor diagnosis might have been. I don't want to know the names of the diseases. All I know is God that takes care of the diseases. I know God that restored the diseases. I know God that can do all things. I declare it to your life that your health is restored. Your health is restored. Your health is restored in the name of Jesus. Your health is restored in the name of Jesus. Your health is restored in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Ah, amen. Hey. In the name of Jesus, sickness, uh -uh. sickness is not our portion. We have a lot to do for God. We cannot be sick. No, 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 no. We cannot be sick. We cannot be sick. Our body cannot accommodate any form of nonsense because this body is the temple of God in the mighty name of Jesus. That sickness in your lives that is bringing fear, that is bringing worry, that is making you to, to be limited Said, ah, that is limiting your consistency, limiting your efficiency ah, in your calling. That is not making you, letting you to fulfill purpose as you ought to. I declare in the name of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, that you are restored tonight. Ah, 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 the greatest physician. Yay! 
that is the father we are serving we are serving the greatest decision is restoring you back to health tonight in the name of jesus the greatest decision is restoring you back to health tonight in the name of jesus no cancer no headache no migraine nothing no blood says you no 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 badness in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh thank you jesus ha ah, hallelujah ah you know i i i can't bother to share this with us you know daddy adeyi ah, shared something with us during our just concluded two days uh, retreat daddy adeyi said <laughs> he shared a lot of insights ah but one of them stood out to me he said there is different between repair and restore <laughs> who is with me on that there is different between repair and restored. <laughs> when something is being repaired, eh, it will leave scars. It will leave scars. You know, I, I got some injury a long time ago. The doctor do this, they do their own thing. But I still have the scars. <laughs> that is what repairing does. Eh? But when something is being restored, when something is being restored, no scars. You will even remember them again. Ha! No scars. It will be permanently done. When you encounter, when you experience restoration, it will be permanently done. No scars will be left behind. And who can do that? It's not our God. Our God of perfection, our Hebrew God. I prophesy it to your lives tonight that that sickness, that might have that, that you have been receiving repair over that the doctor has been repairing you pash pash in it, pash pash in it. Ah, ah, you have come to the greatest physician tonight you are restored complete restoration is your portion in the name of jesus complete restoration is your portion in the name of jesus complete restoration is your portion in the name of jesus ah because you have come to the lord tonight ah, Complete restoration is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. No more scars, no more scars, no more scars in the name of Jesus. I declare that this year we will enjoy God's redeeming work. That work that has been settled by God, that is what we will enjoy this year. No remnants. No, no. <laughs> we eat the best. We enjoy the best because we are serving the best God, the best Father. Ah, I declare it into your life tonight that you will begin to enjoy God's redeeming work in the mighty name of Jesus. Any accusing tongue, any accusing tongue, any accusing spirit that may want to rob you of your blessings this year, that may want to say, no, she doesn't deserve it, he doesn't deserve it, ah, the host of heaven, ah, we render them useless in the name of Jesus, the host of heaven are rendering them useless right now in the name of Jesus, the host of heaven, oh, they are rendering them useless in the mighty name of Jesus, they are silenced by God in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, just as God silenced the enemies of Joseph, oh, ah, he silenced them. What they meant for evil, the Lord turned them around, turned it around for his good. This year, everything that your enemy meant for evil, the Lord will switch them around for your good. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will switch them around for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will switch them around for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus, ah, you will live in plenty. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. I'm going next to the book of Psalms, Psalms 126, 1 to 6. But I'm starting, that's how the Spirit lead me. I'm starting with verse 6. Verse 6 says, those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying shares with them. You've been going out weeping, 
You've been going now with teary eye. And we, you know, when we are talking about weeping here, we're not talking about physical cry. You know how you have been sacrificing to this ministry, to this assignment that God has given you. Ah, you know how you go to location. I know what it feels like, brethren, to go to location for this. You call off, you put stop to your paycheck. No paycheck. You go four or five days. And you are and she's so long. long uh, and that I see Lord, this is the year that is repaying us. This is the year that is restoring all those labor in the name of Jesus. You will not labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not labor in vain. Ah, I know what it feels like to leave your children, to leave your husband, to leave your wife, to leave your family and go on location oh, in the name of God's work. Ah, as you are laboring, you have sacrificed a lot. Ah, you have sacrificed your money, your energy. The Lord is repaying you back this year in abundance and in the name of Jesus. The Lord is repaying you back with those desires of your heart uh, that you cannot even share with anyone. But God knows them. God knows them. The Lord will say to you this year, the Lord is restoring all those years that you have lost back to you this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, the Bible says only those who weep Bring home shelves. Ah, your lives are restored to good purpose this year in the name of Jesus. Ah, because you have been sowing seed of peace. <laughs> if that is what you have been doing in the drama ministry, because you have been sowing seed of peace, love, growth, expansion of God's kingdom, your harvest time has come. 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 Begin to harvest in plenty, in plenty, in plenty in plenty in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I declare into your life that you begin to reap with shouts of joy in the name of Jesus your plentiful harvest and long awaited peace ah good health comfort promotion favor mercy upliftment breakthrough deliverance complete healing fruit of the Womb. begin to receive them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, receive your children this year. All those who are waiting upon the Lord, I declare it in the name of Jesus. Receive your children this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Yabaka see my cup, Lord. If you have anything you want to lift up to God as your cup to signify your cup. Up. You can raise them before Jehovah. Oh, I lay it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me your. This year, the Lord is filling your empty cups. All those empty cups that you have, that you've been carrying up and down, the Lord is filling them up tonight. All those empty jars that's supposed to be full of oil, anointing, wine, that are empty. The Lord is filling them up tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord is lifting to them, filling them up for you, 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 filling them up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord sees all your diligent sacrifice and commitments. The Lord sees them all. The Lord sees them all. Ah, the Lord is restoring you. The Lord is repaying you back this year in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify you. You are awesome. You are glorious. May your name be exalted forever. Thank you for that which you have done tonight. There shall be permanence. There shall be testimonies in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Amen. And declare it in Jesus' name. Amen.
amen. I believe a lot of cups have been filled tonight. And if your cup has been filled, I want you to type hallelujah. Wow, that was fire. God bless you, ma. The Lord strengthen you. The Lord increase and the Lord make your own cups to be full in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ma. Wow, wow. We are moving to closing prayer right now. and We are inviting our international coordinator, um, Pastor Dari Jeremiah. Sir, you're welcome. God yeah. bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to appreciate God for today. Today is day five. And day five, day of mercy, day of grace. God, we have to allow to come together. We ask all our prayers in Jesus' name. We want to appreciate God for our Nasedram president, Evangelist Wumi Akilade. Thank you, my God bless you for that wonderful and powerful prophetic declaration. As we have declared upon us and our family and our ministry, so shall it be for you and your family and ministry in Jesus' name. But we want to appreciate all our other ministers that have ministered. We have Evangelist Tumishe, Evangelist Taiwo for the Bible reading and the opening prayer and of course, the, the praise and worship, the Damnola Bekes, and Elder Force, our uncle for today, Evangelist Ijoma. God bless you all, and God has used you. All the prayer we have prayed today to put this thing together, God will move you from glory to glory in Jesus' name. And of course, I will not forget our interpreters working behind the scene, interpreting for, for French and other languages, and of course, our technical team and media team, and every word that is here. I believe today's ministration, the fifth day of this 10 days prophetic declaration, which is a day of mercy. The Lord will have mercy upon all of us in Jesus' name. He will show grace upon all of us in Jesus' name. So I'll be taking the closing prayer in uh, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. And of course, we want to appreciate God, our Father and the Lord, that the man can be glory. And all our daddies in the house, that is Mount Zion, we appreciate you all in Jesus' name. All our leaders in the house and all the presidents in the house. So I will read Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, Lord that you have started with us since day one, even since the beginning of this year. I said that Thanksgiving in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because for this day five, we thank you for the power that have come down. You have filled us up. You have blessed us, Lord. I said that thanksgiving in Jesus' name. As it is in your word, Lord. Lord, every word, because you say, upon Mount Zion, that shall be deliverance. Lord, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that need one deliverance or the other. This hour, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, whoever is son of man has set free, is free indeed. Lord, set us free from every form of bondage in the name of Jesus. And he said, and the pillars of Jacob shall possess their possession. As, as, as we declare, say they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. God, you have helped us to be sowing, Lord, and not the time of reaping, this time of abundant harvest, the grace to possess our possession. I declare and I declare, you shall begin to possess your possession. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be very well with you. It shall be well with your ministry. The, well, by the time we finish this prophetic declaration, it will be released the next 24 hours. You shall begin to testify. You shall begin to testify. So shall it be. We pray for all the ministers that have ministered today, right from the opening prayer evangelist to be to the closing praise evangelist to the uh, Bible reading evangelist uh, Taiwo, and even the prophetic declaration evangelist with me. Everyone that you have used, evangelist Joma, the media team, Lord, because today is day five. Lord, the grace to move from glory to glory, give it to all of us in the name of Jesus. I don't take all the glory, Lord. Oh, Lord, by the time we come back tomorrow, Lord, tomorrow shall be powerful than today in the name of Jesus. And as we go further and further, Lord, begin to take us from glory to glory, from power to power, from grace to grace, from miracle to miracle, from breakthrough to miracle, from testimony to testimony. I don't take all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. God bless you indeed. We are going to be um, 
to we have come to the end of the program, so to say. So we are going to be meeting ourselves to shout hallelujah. But before then, please remember that we are continuing tomorrow. And please don't be late. Inform your friends and where we shall to join us, and they will be mightily blessed. You can see what happened tonight. The Lord is set, and from day one till now, God has been visiting us. So please join tomorrow and join early in the name of jesus so we are going to be committing ourselves to shout a bigger hallelujah to the king of kings that has blessed us so much tonight and let's say hallelujah